Wreck-It Ralph released in 2012 and is one of the first few Disney IMA films from the 2010 decade. This is about the villain named Ralph who was a bad guy in his video game Fix-It Felix. However, he's been treated with such disrespect since he is a bad guy. He wants to be loved by everyone in his game. He goes off to the game Hero's Duty to get a medal so he can become loved by everyone and comes across Vanellope Sweets who tries to get his medal to be loved by everyone. Now, this film... It is very cliche and can be quite predictable and it's kind of a generic story. That doesn't mean anything though. This film is very good in terms of the execution. There are times when it can get a bit predictable and a bit much but it, other than that it works in terms of its execution and what the film is trying to tell. And I think the storytelling, it works a lot better than some of the other Disney films they've done. And I think it work kind of, it's kind of cool to see video game characters like join together and join forces if you get me. Even though that may not be the main plot but it kind of is if you get me. The animation is obviously very beautiful. I absolutely adored the different styles of animation they use for the different graphics of each video game. Ralph is the main character who honestly is a bit the cliche outcast however, who wants to be a somebody, although he's a well interesting developed character. You do feel sorry for him when he gets angry and he gets more interesting as the film progresses. Vanellope is a bit annoying at first and can be a kind of unlikable, but as the film gets better, she becomes more likeable and becomes more fleshed out. Her backstory is very interesting. Fix-It Felix is kind of the comic relief. He is a very funny character. Calhoun, the leader of Hero's Duty, is a pretty awesome character. Basically the leader of the Hero's Duty game and kind of the strong female character of the film. She's got some pretty funny moments in there. King Candy, the main villain, however... Uh, yeah, he is very annoying and just very weak. It's mostly the voice though I can't stand, it's just so annoying. Well, some of the characters I haven't talked about, I'll just say they were either good or writers meh, because there's not a lot to say about them. And the music is also fantastic, and of course I love the Al City song, When Can I See You Again. Guys, I'm very excited to see Ralph Breaks the Internet, I'm hoping to see it next week. It's not out in Ireland yet until November 30th, this Friday, the day of the Late Late Toy Show, so that's going to be awesome. But yeah, this is a review for In Preparation of Wreck-It Ralph 2, and I shall see you guys next time. And I'm going to give Wreck-It Ralph an 8 out of 10. See you guys next time, and skadoosh.